everybody. Welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I am Randy. And I'm Diane. And this weekend we are staying at Lakeside Beach State Park, which is located in Waterport, New York, on Lake Ontario. We are attending a rally with a number of other Airstreamers from the New York Finger Lakes Airstream Club. Which is our local unit. And we've been having a lot of fun. We've had uh, campfires at night and happy hours and we've been getting around and telling a lot of stories and it's just been a, a great group of people and we've been really enjoyed everyone's company. Now what we'd like to do is show you some of the Airstreams that are parked here as part of the rally. So let's take a walk. Campsites here. They're not right on top of each other. You have electric. You do have the spigots for the water in case you need water. So it, you know, it's just electric hookups. And uh, if you do want, they do have a lot of shaded sites. Well, what's nice about our site is we have this tree right here that is doing a really nice job in the afternoon of blocking the sun. Right. In the evening, so this is pretty comfortable. And that, that we're spaced out quite a bit between us and our neighbors, mm -hmm. which is what we always like about the state parks. Right. Right. On your room between us and the next year street. Like you said, they're 30 amp electric, and the price is, I think, 20, 25 dollars a night, about. Oh, was it? Okay. I think so. A little bit more if you're not a New York State resident. Oh. It's uh, another five dollars. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So between 20 and 30 dollars a night. Hmm. That's not too bad. No, no, it's reasonable. I'm sure it'll be beautiful in a few weeks with all the leaves changing color. Yeah. They stay open till. October? No, October 1st? October 31st? Not the 31st. I think it's uh, Columbus Day weekend or like Columbus Day week. Oh, it's okay. Last week. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's not too crowded here. It's busy, but not packed. But it doesn't feel packed. No, it never feels packed. Yeah. Today is going to be our installation rally where we install the new officers for the next year. Now I've been the president of the club for the last two years and that's going to come to an end this afternoon and I'll be a past president. Diane will be a past first lady. Uh, we've got some new officers that are coming in that's going to have some new ideas and, and keep the club moving forward. So really looking forward to that. There's about 12 Airstreams here. From uh, 11 of them are from the local club and we have one that came from outside our area that joined us for the weekend. So we've got a nice group of about 24 people. We've got a special guest coming in um, this evening who is the is Ty Mott and he is the president of the International Airstream Club. He is the big guy in charge. And so he's gonna come in. Um, he lives locally here and is a friend of our unit. And he's gonna do the installation um, ceremony for our new officers, which will be pretty cool. We figured while we had a few minutes here, we should update our maps of states we've been to. So what states are we missing, dear? Vermont. So 
Right, yeah. Which we found. This, this one down here. Yeah, we just did a trip to Vermont. And West Virginia. West Virginia. Kentucky with the horse on. Kentucky has horses? Yeah. Who would have thought? And Colorado with the skis. We didn't ski while we were there. We did have snow though. We had snow and sand. Yeah, that's true. the states we added so Vermont, West Virginia, Kentucky, Kansas, Colorado. We've driven through these but we haven't really stopped and done anything yet. Haven't done much with the New England states so this whole upper section here that's going to be a summer trip someday and hopefully we can take care of this soon and who knows when we get to these. Yep. I think that's all for now. So what's been your favorite state? Well, I don't, Arizona probably. Arizona's one of your favorites? Well, we... And, and Utah, yeah. Both Arizona had some very interesting places to visit. Yeah. A lot of neat places to see and... Yeah, definitely more to see in both those states. Yep. So we will probably add more this falling into the winter. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. yep. It'll be quite a while, I think, before we get to Alaska. Probably. That's going to be a challenge. And Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. That's up to date. We've been to this campground before, Lakeside Beach State Park. We were actually here last year, and we did a video on it. And I'll link that up here so that you can check it out. But it's a nice area because they have a lot of farmers markets in the vicinity and actually close enough that we can ride our bikes to them. Which we did yesterday and picked up several items. Yep. Yeah, so we took a ride to the farmers market and we picked up some, what did we pick up? Cookies? Cookies, of course, and some pies and bread. So, yeah, and they have a large variety of things. Yeah, they had peaches and apples and ice cream and something that we like that we can't always find which is um, strawberry rhubarb jam and I think that's kind of unique to the north northeast area rhubarb is kind of a unique taste for us up here but it kind of gives it a sweet and tart taste to the jam which we like so we picked up a jar of that so we'll show you a little bit of that video right here yeah
you find? Wow, well, what do you want besides chocolate chip? I don't know. Cookies? What? You found cookies? Of course. Well, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along with us. And leave us a comment. And until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.